like to know what is great about Great Britain? Um, well, I think it's always been kind of, Great Britain's always been quite diverse, I think. And uh, in general, you know, from what I know, from like the 40s, 50s onwards, integration has been, has worked out quite well there. Um, and also, I think it's very creative as far as music, fashion, um, comedy, those kind of ideas. And uh, I think generally the people are kind of, uh, they use their humour <laughs> to um, uh, be, you know, I think quite open to things, open to new ideas sometimes, but it takes somebody to express those ideas to them. So if they're being told something else, uh, it, it, I think it's quite easily manipulated, especially uh, the middle class people. You know, I hate classes, class, but it just seems like they love their, the, and they love the idea of this sort of traditional Britain, you know. Um, but I think because I live in a big town, I'm spoiled. Skanka Nancy, singer Skin. Oh yeah. Um, talked about Brexit as well and she was like I mean she's like black obviously black she's lesbian yeah, and she yeah. said that um, even though Britain seemed to be so tolerant yeah. now after the Brexit law she gets attacked for being lesbian right lesbian. Is that, it's terrible did you know no. as well well you see things on the news you know that you that you uh, about about ladies having their hijabs ripped off their head and things like that you know and and also uh, gay attacks like for people for like holding hands on the tube and whatever and it makes me like really angry because uh, it makes me angry because sorry but you see like straight people all the time kissing hugging you know everywhere and i think like so we're not allowed to walk down the street and holding hands you know after all this time and uh i don't know i mean i always like I mean, my mum always said to, to support the underdog. So, you know, if I see like people that have obviously they're from refugees or for them, they're from abroad, all they want is a better life. And you can't deny anybody to, that wants for wanting a better life. And from what they've ran from, we have no idea. What, what horror they've seen, we have no idea. We can't even imagine. And has that sort of racism has it been asleep before the Brexit came and now it pops up or where has it been? Uh, I think it's something that um, I think I think because of because we've because we had political correctness which is another uh, side of the argument that's why UKIP became so popular and Trump became so popular I think it was almost too much the political correctness it was like it wasn't really uh, people weren't really people weren't educated in the correct way they were just told what to do and told what to think. So it wasn't, it wasn't from a grassroots kind of way. So obviously they had a lot of uh, anxiety and frustration and anger stored in there. And once they, once they were told, oh, you're allowed to say you hate this person, then all of a sudden it's unleashed. <laughs>